Hey there. This is um this is an unboxing video. Um I spent as you know I've varied wide varying interests and about 20 years ago ish I spent a couple of years learning how to make fiddles violins there's no difference between a fiddle and a violin violin is from the mediterranean language base fiddle is anglo-saxon it's the same instrument but in any case i learned i spent a couple of years um basically teaching myself i've got just about everything written in english on the subject um i was never a tremendously good fiddler i don't think i'll ever perform in public but i get tremendous enjoyment out of the instrument and I was snooping around on the eBay the other day, just wasting time, quite frankly. And I was on eBay UK, and I found something that immediately caught my notice. And it's, it's hilarious how you go from being completely oblivious about something to wanting to own it with your entire heart and soul. It's just ridiculous. And what this is, what we're going to find out, is... It's an old, it's an old fiddle. It didn't cost me very much at all. I, I spent much less than the money I earned working overtime on the day job. So I, I don't feel um, particularly guilty about this little indulgence. It's wrapped extremely well. But what I'm going to do, and I'll explain, we're going to examine this thing once it's open. Because I haven't done that. Okay, here we are. It's like opening King Tut's tomb. Now, my rationale for this being this is this is an old fiddle. It's not. Uh, it's it's what a historian, what a what a museum curator would describe as a nondescript. In that, this is a variation that I've never seen before as a folk instrument, as opposed to a standard, standard fiddle. Okay, it's pretty well wrapped in here. Now, okay, top marks for wrapping. But the first thing we see at the head, we don't see the usual, um, and I don't even, I can't even remember the terminology for it anymore, but the usual fiddlehead, as it were. This is immediately caught my eye because it reminds me of a Hardanger fiddle, which is a folk instrument developed in um, the Hardanger fjord district of Norway over the last, let's say, 300 years, 60, late 1600s, 400 years. So let's very carefully open this up with our scissors and see what we have inside. Because what I'm hoping, you know, this, this is, I'm, I know I'm going to be, I should be working on kilts right now, but I saw this and I was immediately attracted to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to examine this thing so I can give the fellows feedback, make sure that I've got exactly what I paid for. And then I shall put it aside until such time as I have time to work on it. Because one of three things will happen. It might be worthless, in which, or at least it may not be restorable or playable. In which case it'll hang on the wall and be a document or it might be restorable so what we have is a full-size violin with the head as we see it's it's sort of a lion head sort of thing now this is hand carved um i don't i'll ask the fellow the provenance of the thing if he knows anything about it but it, again it reminds me remarkably of a hardanger fiddle and the a Hardanger fiddle has eight strings rather than four. It has four strings, as a normal violin does, which are um, that resonate when the bow is drawn across them. But underneath the the neck, there's a second four strings, and these are sympathetic strings. So when you're bowing the tune, the sympathetic strings will vibrate in in sympathy. And you get either a harmony or harmonics. And harmonics, of course, is where two sound waves combine to create something new and different and unique. And it can be quite beautiful. It can be quite haunting. So what we have is, um, I see no cracks in it. It's been well loved. It's quite dirty. The 
bridge is glued in place. Now there's only four peg holes. I, I have some spare pegs, so what I will do is the neck is straight. Um, the body is straight. There are no cracks that I can see. I can, I'm, I'm going to interpret that as evidence that this was a playing instrument at some time. I, I'm going to interpret that as wear from playing in the, in the first position on the, on the fiddle. Um, so what I will do, I will make a plan. Planning and dreaming is free and it's cheap. Yeah, it's, it's free and it's fun. And what I will do is I will slowly assess this instrument. First off to see how the peg holes are a little bit out of round about and make a restoration plan for this. I could plug and re-ream these holes. I can disassemble this because all of this is glued together with hide glue made from animal like cow hide or horse hoof or something like that. And a little bit of steam and a very sharp or, and a very thin artist palette knife can take this all apart. So I, I think I will disassemble, I'll make my plan and off the top of my head, disassemble it, see what the condition is and make a restoration plan. Even if I turn out to be complete fumble fingers and I don't achieve anything with this, I will still learn something. So even if this winds up just being an artifact hanging on the wall, I will have got my money's worth out of it. Because so far, we're seeing, I'm seeing some pretty good workmanship. It's remarkably a single back and a single piece, it, it, both the back and the belly are single pieces. These aren't two pieces that are joined together in a glue joint. These, these are carved out of one piece. And you don't often see that. I'm, I don't present to be uh, in, incredibly knowledgeable about violin uh, construction. But again, I did spend a couple of years obsessing on the subject. So I think that, uh, you know, we may make something out of this. This, uh, this, is, this will be a retirement project, you know, in a year or so when I turn my hand to something different. So, so by and large, it's, it looks, so far, it looks like I've got my money. Worth. Okay, so we're going to carefully put this away. I'm going to give a favorable feedback because I've definitely been accurately um, accurately described and in future I'll, I'll post as as things happen as things occur with this it would be interesting to see too if I can well initial restoration I'm, I'm thinking is I'm thinking with my mouth which can be dangerous but it'll be fascinating to see what job I can make of this what sound we get and even possibly possibly Put sympathetic strings in this thing. Okay, I feel the body's a bit loose there. So, so cool. So this isn't going to happen in a hurry, but I, I just wanted to open this and, and share this. Thank you.